All right, it's about one o'clock, and so far today, wacky trousers. Um, I've been doing something very boring. I've been filling in my tax return. There's the bike shot. Everyone wants to see the baby. Woo! Um, doing my tax return, which took me a bloody long time actually. So I've been doing that all morning, feeling quite good about myself. Um, Need to work out how to find a little bit of money for tax, but uh, we'll sort that out. We've got two weeks still, and I'll be inventive, I'm sure. Um, so I did that. I didn't have that much breakfast, so I'm feeling a bit wonky in the brains. But something I did do, which um, I'm a bit embarrassed to show you, actually, but whatever. Uh, if you can see behind me, that thing. Ooh. I've got a huge piece of paper, and I'm writing down affirmations. This is what keeps me vaguely sane. Um, uh, if you can read that, it says, I'm in bed before 9.30 p.m. I eat healthy food every single meal. These are just things to motivate me into doing what I feel is the right thing. Um, you're not actually allowed to stick things up on these walls in case it peels the paint off, but I'm gonna um, flout those rules because I'm a, I'm a badass, I'm a rebel. I'm gonna put blue tack up, um, which is a bit naughty. But I'm gonna get it done. So now, I, it being one o'clock and I haven't eaten that much, I'm gonna go and stuff me face um, at the the Maya shopping mall, which is about five minutes walk. It's it's the equivalent of Whiteleys in London. So it's not it's not the coolest place. Actually, probably more like Westfield. It's a bit more flash. Westfield is more like it. Um, Maya shopping center, and you can get food for, you can get a plate, a big fat plate. And I mean, it, it will fill most people up for one pound fifty, the equivalent of, so I'll probably have two of those. So it's three pounds, pretty good. I'm gonna try and budget today at about just over 10 pounds. So done well so far by not really having breakfast. Um, and yeah, see what happens. I haven't been out of my room all day. So I don't actually I don't feel that bad about it. I've been busy and I've been structuring my life here, which is probably the biggest thing, which has helped me take a step forward. Right here, enough rambling, I'm off now. This is pretty bonkers, isn't it? You've got a road here. And you've got a ball there, in a field, with adverts in front of it. Well, not yet. But they will be. Look at that. I like it. Bunch of cabbage on the floor for the, on the ground for the cows. It's a taxi. <laughs> Thai people are cool, man. There's like, there's a little rumour going around that Thai people don't really like the smelly farangs that I am, and we are, whatever, that are around the place, the tourists. And I, I don't know, I can, I can understand that, but it's the same anyway, you know, you're going to get some people who like it, some people don't. I don't think it's particular to Thailand anyway. I'm trying to think too much about it, because a lot of people, I think, see people smiling and don't believe it. I don't subscribe to that. I think that if they're smiling, they're smiling for a reason. Um, there we go. I'll show you the Maya Centre in a minute. This is more cool stuff that I really like. I don't know what this is. To me, it, <laughs> I can imagine playing football there. I know it wouldn't work, but that's how I see that space. Looks like a football pitch to me. Um, bunch of flats on the right. And again, big road there. Tell you what, this central reservation thing is one of the most irritating parts of the city. And that kind of tells you that it's a pretty chill place, if that's as worse as it gets, as bad as it gets. Because when you're cycling along here and you're trying to nip across the other side, because it's a very good access route, uh, that gets in the way. So you have to cycle a long way down, wait for one of these little, um, little bits here, which is quite dangerous to cross over, or wait for a genuine turn, um, which comes up every, I don't know, half kilometre, a kilometre maybe. It's not really not too bad when I say it, but... When you're on your bike, it feels different, doesn't it? This road takes fucking ages to cross, so I'm gonna take a video of it. Because if I have to suffer, you have to suffer. My arm's gonna get tired if I have to fit, or I'll get self-conscious. Recording like a thick wind. <laughs> So here we are waiting. Need 30 seconds. I see a gap. I 
I also see a plane. Okay, here's the gap. Get excited, everyone. 45 seconds. Ah, it's going red anyway. All right, we're going to cross. This might be the fastest crossing ever done. Ah! Oh, man, that was, that was definitely the fastest. That's bullshit. It's usually like five minutes. Um, whatever. I'll, I'll do another one. You'll get, you'll get the idea next time. Anyway, that was a minute crossing that road. That's okay. okay, this is the Maya shopping center. These little elephant dudes. It's really sweet at night. You get kids running around. It's have like multicolored lights in this fountain. And you get kids running around and kicking off their crocs and screaming at each other and whatever, and getting wet. It's really funny. Nice, really nice. The Thai kids are really cute, I don't know why. All kids are cute, actually. I'm sure there's some which aren't, but... Do you want a snippy t-shirt, maybe? Or do you want some shoes? Oh, this is 80 baht, which is about two pounds. Which ain't bad. All right, my plan was to go cycling at three o'clock. It's three o'clock now, and it is fucking boiling. I'm guessing it's about 30 degrees. Um, that doesn't sound that bad. I cycled in 40 degrees and I managed, but maybe I'm just being a puss puss. Fuck it, I'm gonna go. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go cycling now. It takes three hours up and down and it gets dark at 6.10, so I should probably leave quite soon. I'll take my lights with me. Everything will be fine. It's actually more the heat that I'm worried about, so I'll make sure I take a shitload of water. Um, anyway, I've just come from the, the Maya shopping centre where I've been working for the last hour. I, an hour is not very much work. <laughs> what, I, what I'm convincing myself with is that it's not about time. With, with something like a book, it's really less about time. Obviously, time is very important. You do have to put in hours, treat it like a normal job to a degree. But um, I'm, I'm more concerned with doing quality work because a lot of the time I'm not sitting in front of a desk or a computer, I'm still thinking about it and working through ideas, particularly when I'm cycling and, you know, when I'm mulling things over. And creative stuff does come to you at strange times. Uh, yeah, having said that, there is a caveat, which is that I do think you can approach it systematically. And if you want to, you can sit down for eight hours and you can get, you can, you can incite creativity. That's why I saw a 7-Eleven. I want to get some stuff. Yeah, you can incite creativity in a mechanical way. I don't think it needs to be a uh, coup de foudre. It doesn't have to be like a, a magical moment which comes out of nowhere, which is unpredictable. You can force it which sounds bad, but I think it's true. Um, but I'm, I'm sort of, I'm chilling. I'm not here to bully myself into smushing my brain. I want to enjoy myself, that's part of this as well. And I am enjoying myself, and doing an hour, hour and a half, maybe two hours work here and there, um, is the way that's making me happy, and I, I'm not going to question it too much. So I spend all my time questioning myself. Yes. Um, so yeah. No questioning, I'm chilled with that, I promise. I swear to God. I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay. <laughs> it's all going down tonight. It's 5.30 now, it gets... The sun goes down at 10 past 6. I did tell myself I'd head back, but these dudes are still going up, so... I've got lights as well, the road's very safe. There's only like two bumps in the surface on the way down I've ever found. I feel pretty safe. Um, yeah, I like this road, I'm gonna keep going. Enjoy myself, got enough water. God, I sound so boring, again. I'm really analyzing my chat. I'm, I'm personality assassinating myself every day as I listen to myself on these videos. I realize how repetitive I am, how much I say uh, and how much I waffle, 
I also go off track quite a lot, so I'll try and improve all these things. Just come back from my ride. I did 15 kilometers up the hill. I don't know how high that was. Feels weird. <laughs> um, and I'm gonna have a shower. I've had a load of water, I feel pretty good. My back was hurting a little bit, but I forced myself to loosen up and let my legs do the work as opposed to tensing my upper body. So that was a little bug on me. Bugger off. There you go. He buggered off. Um, great joke. Yeah, shower time. I'm going to get some food. Don't want to be too loud because there's people here with kids and whatnot. There are minors in the vicinity. Downstairs, I thought I'd give you a little shot of my journey out the house, out the flat. It's just I'm on the first floor, so boom, you're out. contact here I've noticed actually it's quite nice people are smiling at you and looking at you less it's less like that in London Whoa. Um, all right here's the mall that I'm gonna eat at um, it's I mean, as you can tell by the KFC place it's not the most Thai joint you can find uh, but fuck it it's got it's where I went yesterday to get four four plates of rice so I'm going to go there again, I liked it. It had a nice system. They have pictures where you can choose from it, so it makes sense. Here we go. Two rice. Had Thai, no egg. This is where I'm eating. It's this kind of canteen sort of place. I like it. It's simple. Market in the background. Mission complete. There it is. There's the mall. And I'm trying to get out. Down the stairs. Yeah, it's good size. So the rice was 20, 20 baht in total, which is 50p for the two blobs of rice. And then the meal was 45, which is about a pound 10. Um, so it's about a pound 60 in total for that meal, which is not bad. Getting people's ways and being a penis. Um, why well, change the habit of a lifetime? Yeah, so £1.60 for that. Um, I'm sorry, I'm just totting up in my head what I've spent today. I think I've spent about six, six or seven quid. I'll calculate it when I get home. I can't bother to do it now because I'm getting self-conscious recording in, in the street. Sorry about that. I'm now chilling in bed. I don't know if you noticed. And I'm gonna, ugh, I can't believe I haven't done it. I thought I'd worked it out. I thought, I'm gonna work out how much I spent today, then I'll get back to you. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Um, I worked out, I spent eight pound 50 today. And you can see what I've got in the video. I think I've recorded everything. The, the little curveballs, I bought two um, big bottles of water and a bunch of dried bananas as snacks for my ride. So that is the extra that I don't think I showed you. Um, so yeah, pretty cool. It's quite a budget day. I think I can go higher than that quite easily, but I'm not keen to because I'm here for a while. I don't want to be splashing my caching needlessly when I can eat for cheaper. Uh, Groovy. Good night, my hairy friends. I will speak to you. Blue.